woke up, man. Oh no. Yeah. Oh, geez, I'm sorry. Ah, it's all right. I slept hours. I was. Oh. Um, I need to get up. Yeah. Okay. So, it's your good morning wake up call. Yeah. Good morning, stigma. Yeah. And I am here with one of the godfathers of hardcore. And I'm not just saying that because of a film I'm with Vinny Sigma of Agnostic Front. Hello, How Vinny. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Good. Long time no see. Exactly. It's been a little while. Yeah. Yeah. And, wow, so much has been happening with the band and oh. with everything. Wow. Really a lot. Now, we're in England today. Freezing. It's cold here. Yes. Yeah. And uh, we're, we're on the tour. We got one more, uh, one more show tomorrow, London, at the Underworld, you know. Then we're off to, you know, Europe and then Russia and back to Europe and home. Uh, and then after that, we go to California. But well, then you'll be warm. Yeah, right. I'll be warm then. then, then uh, but tonight is uh, Armistice Day. Yes. And today they feature my film, The Godfathers of Hardcore. Yes. And that's it premiering in New York tonight? Yeah, tonight in New York City. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> that must be frustrating, though, to miss your premiere because you're on tour. Uh, I miss a lot of things in life, but that's okay. Yeah, but you will I'm have other the lottery. <laughs> you and me both. Yeah. Maybe we should clubber together and yeah, do it. Yeah, you come up with a few numbers, I come up with a few numbers, but a boom, we go. We got it. Then we'll put out our own films. <clears throat> yeah. There we go. <clears throat> um, how did the uh, Godfathers come out? I mean, what, what inspired you guys to do it? Well, I got to thank uh, Ian McFarlane. Mm -hmm. You know, he's the... Produ uh, director, producer, whatever you call it, and, and uh, he's really passionate about it. You know, he's really, you know, he's a great guy, and uh, he did a great job. I mean, he did a lot of our, he did some of our videos, and okay. you know, he yeah. did a lot of videos. You can look online; his videos are awesome, man. You know, he yes, did a, They are. I did a Fear Factory video that I love. You know, it's, yeah, it's like a, he's got like a Nazi priest with. Bel Belgian shepherds barking. I don't know what it is. The guy's naked. I mean, it's off the wall. It's yeah. like total art. Yeah. You know? Well, I'm definitely going to look for that yeah. one because I haven't seen that. Yeah, it's good. Hello, hello. Here comes Roger. <laughs> hello, Roger. Oh. I just, it's the Godfather's together now. That's the Godfather. <laughs> yeah, and he's hardcore. <laughs> and welcome. You guys, uh, you're missing the premiere as well. Yeah, yeah, we are. Unfortunately, we would have really liked to have been there too, you know. But it's just this was booked first, and we couldn't let the people down. And you know, it would have took away a bunch of shows, and it was just too much and overwhelming. Every this, these flights were already purchased. Every it was too much. Yeah, you know, you're so it's one of those things. But the premiere is actually a filmmakers premiere, okay. so it's all about filmmakers and film stuff, you know. So it was asked to be a part of it. And it's kind of like an honor to be a part of it. It wasn't like the premiere that we really wanted to give the people with all of us there, you know, like the people's premiere. It really wasn't that. It's more of a filmmaker's premiere. But hopefully we'll get a people's premiere. You definitely need one of those. That yeah. would be worth a trip back to New York just to it's see that. Probably going to happen. I heard he was going to like like tour the film a little bit too, mm -hmm. you know, so. Yeah. We're going to do definitely something in New York for our families too. Like, yeah. I mean, we want to be there with our family and celebrate. Yeah, because it is something that really celebrates your lives and what right. you've done. Mm -hmm. And it, I don't know in more, much more than what I've seen in the trailer and what I could read on the website. Tell me about it. What does it cover and how does, what's the story about? Well, I tell you right now, you laugh, you cry, you laugh, you scream. It's really... It's it, like being with it, you. It, yeah. You know, <laughs> you know it's it is, we, fun. We gave Ian McFarlane, the director, full... <coughs> Full, the full run of it. We we had we were hands off, completely hands off. Besides giving stuff for the film, the, yeah. submitting stuff that he would use, he ran with it, and uh, it's his story, it's his concept, mm -hmm. and he surprises with us, and we thought it was great. We thought it was great. You know, we had no control over anything. We wanted it to be that way too. Yeah. It's the only way to get really. There's no, uh, no nothing biased about it on any other part except for the filmmaker made, and that's that. Yeah, it's it's his art. It's his yeah. vision. And it's, it's as and he sees, <laughs> it's how he sees the two of you. Yeah. <clears throat> how the world sees the two of us. <laughs> really, I've been with Roger a lot of years, 20, 30, 35 years, yeah, you know, and uh, gonna we're going to do it. We're currently working on a new album, too. 
So, which is really in, uh, like uh, with the movie and Roger's book and and, and the new record, it'll 35 be 35-year anniversary tour. The 35 anniversary, this and when we do the new album, it'll be a 40 years. I'm planning on the 40th. I don't know oh. if you are. You know, I want to go watch, but uh, you know that would make. We made a record every three years for 40 years. I mean, that's all right for like you know two hardcore guys, you know. And when I read the story about how Victim in Pain, which was for me one of those seminal albums, when I heard it, teenage kid back in Cleveland, Ohio, I went, holy fucking shit. And I was in love from that moment on. And the story in your book about how it was written and, and just how it was very quick, off the cuff, you got it done, you wrote Out the lyrics. Own, timing, all tempo all off. Tune out. It was all about the moment, beautiful. the time, and what was what was going on with our lives, and you ca that album it really captured that. Yeah. It really captured something real, genuine, something out of control that was our lives. It was completely out of control. It was as genuine as our life was at that moment. That's really a, it's really a harsh record to listen to. That's because life was harsh back then. Exactly, and I think that's what speaks to so many people because so many other people agree with me on. The status of that album being just one of those albums that you have to hear and it changed a lot of people's lives i think yeah i, I truly believe it's a, a soundtrack of new york city in 1983 84 when we were right in between 83 and 84 it's a soundtrack of what new york city the grit the anger the the offness the energy everything is in that one record it's a product of new york product you know of new york. it really is just like we are we're products yeah. of new york exactly and did you ever think 35 years ago that you would be standing here on this big Euro european tour your book has just been released your film is just coming out did you ever imagine this was going to be your lives uh -oh. no we really didn't you know you know what's really funny is i never knew there was anything past new york city yeah. Ge geographical for, for, um, ge for real I thought New York City was New York yeah. state yeah. and then when I started touring I'm like wow there's more than New York City you know and it yeah. was really New York State yeah. so we were just in this little you were in this bubble in this yeah. bubble of, of insanity and I don't know we just got in that van and we went and we just took off yeah. you know we were the first really like skinhead band like you know like shaved heads hardcore yeah. Yeah. not like that guy was not traditional like guys that just were mohawks and you know like and it's fully just, tattooed just and, and just having the fun American hardcore movement yeah, which is American what we're hardcore. Like. Yeah, yeah. yeah and i think pioneers of it along with others but i think you guys were really pioneers of american hardcore and of the sound and the feel and the emotion that came with it do you well, agree or so. yeah yeah try yeah um roger the book what inspired you to sit down and tell your story? Well, Lars Ferguson, to be honest, from Rancid, when we was doing Right Right Upstart, when we were recording that record in the studio, he's the one that inspired me to begin. Mm -hmm. And then from there, it just went, you know, and then life and bands and albums and kids and it just finishing was the, the hardest thing I ever did. Yeah. But it's done. Yeah. And it's, it's a book that I think you don't have to love the music to really enjoy reading, because it is a photograph of, of society in New York at that time. And you know what? I agree with you, and you know what? So is our film. Our, the film is, you don't have to like Agnostic Front, but when you see it, it's just... It's a ride. It really is a ride. And the book and the film magically complement each other, and it was never meant that way. Yeah. Like, if you read the book and you go see the film, like, wow, because you read stuff about in the book it's in the film or vice versa it has a different ending it's a thriller ending whatever i guess that's what um that's what but what filmmaker says you know, yeah nothing was ever planned that was, was planned. that was it it was just it just both came out the way they came out and they both complement each other it's pretty crazy and was it planned that they came out more or less at the same time that wasn't planned either yeah. so it just one was started in 1999 the other one was started 19 in 2006 when we really just started the film but then we stopped and then who knows what's going on with that <laughs>